Hybrid's fun. Arrows of Justice deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. That's cool. I mean, it's kind of a reprint of another card. So I don't think it did four damage though back in the day. So that's interesting. Um, it's it's going to be fun to play. It's going to ruin some people's days. It's definitely strong and limited. So that's pretty good. Exile target card from a graveyard. Put a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. That is definitely not bad at instant speed. It's a one drop. It's a one drop 1-1. One, one. That's not bad. Uh, the best thing about it is that it has evasion, so that's really good. Biomass mutation. Creatures you control come XX until end of turn. What? That means they still have all their plus one, plus one counters. They have all their abilities and crazy stuff. They just become XX. That's really cool. I like it. It's obviously good. It's got that gold shiny symbol, which, which just denotes quality, you know? <laughs> There's never bad cards that have a gold shiny symbol on them, Conjure Currency. Bio shift. Remove any number of plus one plus one counters from target creature onto another creature with the same controller. I like this a lot uh, just because it, it really validates the whole um, mechanic that Simic is go going for. Uh, so that's very nice, obviously. I'm going to start with Burning Tree Emissary because this is a card that's not getting enough love and I really love it. It is a free 2-2. Two -two. It's Grizzle Free. It's Grizzle Freeze and I love it. I love it. Not to mention the fact that it mana fixes for you. It mana fixes for you. If you have two reds and you have a guy in your hand that costs a red and a green, if you play this guy first, you get the red and the green, you get to play the other card. It mana fixes for you, you guys. It's so good and limited, it's not even funny. I want eight of these in my limited deck. Like, that is amazing. Like, I would just play... Can you imagine if you just had, like, four of these in your hand, just turn two, you played all of them? Oh, it's... I just... I really like this card. It's free. It's a free 2-2. Two -two. That's that's awesome. Uh, if you have something else to play, otherwise it's just a 2-2 two -two for 2 that makes you sad. Whenever Boros Reckoner is dealt damage... Oh, I love this card. Uh, this is Spite Mare, and I love Spite Mare. Uh, not to mention the fact that this guy gets First Strike, which isn't fantastic because then he hasn't dealt the damage, but he's still awesome. I love Spite Mare, so he's pretty good. Spite Mare was awesome. Oh, God, I love that card. Coerced Confession. Target player puts the top four cards of his or her library in his or her graveyard, and you draw cards for each creature card put into the graveyard that way. It's a five drop. Um, I don't know if I would, you know, have a spot for it in my deck, but it's it's okay if that's what you're going for. Death Cult Rogue can't be blocked except by rogues. Weird condition, very nice in the format. He is a three drop, two, two unblockable for the most part. Gift of Orzhova. Enchant creature gets plus one, plus one, and has flying and lifelink. It gets invasion and lifelink. That's pretty awesome. Then we have Immortal Servitude. This card's pretty good. Not great and limited because you can't really, you know, orchestrate when it's going to be super useful and when it's not. But the fact that they come out onto the battlefield is what makes it just a, a fantastic thing to do. Because any way you cut it, it's going to be bad for your opponent. We've got a Merfolk of the Depths. This guy's got Flash. I love cards with Flash. He's a little expensive, uh, but I do love cards with Flash, so that is nice. You also got to realize that uh, with the Evolve mechanic, if you Flash somebody in and it's, you know fills that requirement they're all going to get plus one plus one at instant speed so that's very nice night veil vale specter uh this guy's going to deal combat damage to a player and that player ex exiles the top that's also why he's a four two it's really so that you can give everybody else plus one plus one so it, it's good um but anyway back to this guy you're going to exile and then you may play cards exiled with this dude uh really awesome i love it and i just want to frame him and put him above my bed Pit Fight, this is a worse version of a card that already exists in Standard, so I don't know why we're doing it again. This is Prey Upon. Why did we add a mana to Prey Upon and just come back out with it? I don't get it. I don't like it just for that fact. I mean, it's good. It's, you know, red-green removal, but who gives a shit? We have this card already. What is going on? Whenever this dude over here on the right attacks, it gets plus one, plus one counters, is the opposite of another card that we had back in the day uh that gave everybody else plus one plus one counters when it attacked and itself actually it was all creatures that were attacking uh but this is this is pretty fun it gets plus one plus one four drop 
Uh, obviously going to be kind of hard to deal with. Shattering Blow, my only issue with this card is that it should destroy target artifact. If you're going to call it Shattering Blow, it should destroy target artifact. It shouldn't exile it. That's my only thing. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but I like this card a lot. It is going to pretty much be my sideboard answer in standard, which I know we're not really talking about, but my sideboard answer to uh, freaking Spotlight and McScrew You Haste, which I don't like. Uh, okay, moving up and onward.